Hi, my name's Ian and welcome back to my Peugeot Boxer Camper Van Build. This is episode 10. Um, well, this video really is just a little bit of a catch up of what I've been up to over the last few weeks since the last video. Uh, I'm getting to the point now where I'm sort of finishing off the, uh, the build, uh, the, the fiddly bits, uh, just putting edging strips in, that type of thing. Um, uh, as I said, it's just really towards the end of the build now, apart from one thing which I started yesterday, which I'll, I'll show you in a minute. But uh, yeah, we'll sort of jump into where I've been and uh, I'll see you in a bit. Well, since installing the door the other week, I've now uh, carpeted this back door to uh, put it around the window. I've still got the, uh, the, blind, the Horrocks blind to go in there, which I'll be doing really as part of the final clean up operation. So, we'll clean up, get all the dust of everything, and then finally just fix the blinds uh, when we're done there. Um, also, done the same with the back door as well. That's all now fully carpeted all the way up. And the other thing I've been up to as well is I've built a um, sliding mechanism for my um, relaxer chairs. Uh, each one of those will slide in uh, on the bottom two rungs and then the upper sliding piece there is for my outside table. So uh, obviously when we sat outside under the awning we can get the two relaxer chairs out really easily and the sliding table as well. A little area down there I've got in there to uh, house a brush. Obviously other bits and bobs will go in there as well. And then on the other side here I've still got to deal with this pipe. Uh, it's going to be sort of mounted up so it'll blow warm air across the back doors of the van. And then I've got a small storage area then down on this side then uh, for putting my barbecue uh, and other bits and bobs. Another thing I've been up to is uh, starting carpeting out the sides, uh, the, the, the slide cheeks of the wall cupboards. I've still got a small section to do at the top there, that's going to get infilled once it gets a bit more carpet, I've just actually run out, but I need to get some more so I can do my sliding door, so I'll just order enough and just do the tops of these cupboards inside there. I've done one or two which I had enough to, uh, left over for, but I said I've now run out. Uh, the other thing I've been doing as well is put the, uh, the edging strips on, just around the uh, outside of the cupboard doors, oh, sorry, the, the cupboard frames should I say. So yeah, that's where we're on that. Now the job I started yesterday was uh, getting this uh, raised floor area sorted. The bit on the left hand side there's just a bit of a mock up where I think it's going to end up. Uh, but uh, basically the whole thing will sort of go across, uh, straight across there, then cut across at an angle across to the seating pod. I'm still waiting for the, uh, the guy to make the cushion for that. Um, he's uh, not come back to me and he came around about two weeks ago so I'm not quite sure what's going on there. But yeah, we're going to have some 18mm OSB. I mean, it's much fatter, I see a bit more framework towards the back end there. Uh, it's just a little bit uh, where the wiring is, I'm just going to put a little bit at the back just to support the floor when that goes in. But it'll be 18mm OSB, uh, which will be put onto there. And then it's then going to actually then lap onto, I'm going to be my fingers, I'm going to lap onto this area here. So we'll have a tiny little step which will then just go up onto this uh, this plastic area of the, uh, of the floor. Obviously, I need to shape it all around here. The other thing I've just been mocking up as well is uh, this uh, side piece. Uh, as well as the, the section that I have across the top, I've got these plastic sections from my supplier, uh, which will go go up. And obviously they tuck in underneath the bit that comes across the top. And the top section itself was all made with the same plastic, and I ended up carpeting it. So uh, what I think once I've got the floor in, I'll uh, get all this trimmed to size because they are slightly oversized a bit, and the shape at the bottom is a bit weird. I think I might end up having to just cut it off and maybe put a piece of ply at the bottom just to straighten it out and then fully carpet the whole thing. But, uh, we'll see what happens when I get to that point, but uh, yeah, that's where we are with that. Now, going back a few videos ago, I mentioned I was having fun and games with my tambador. Uh, the situation of that tambador is still not fully uh, sorted out yet, but I have sort of come to a sort of compromise at the moment which does sort of work. But uh, I actually got a plan to go and buy another timber door um, and add to the one I've already got because each of the sections of the timber door are individual and you can slide them, once you get it out of the frame you can slide them in and out so I'm going to actually add about another 36 centimetres worth which I think was about 12 or 13 pieces, I can't remember now off the top of my head. Uh, but yeah, once I get the chance to uh, get back up to uh, Grimsby up to Magnum Motorhomes because uh, I'll probably end up going away there for a weekend at some point up in that direction, I'll pop in there and get another one because when the door shuts, well, once it comes off the. Uh, so I'll just zoom that back up, we'll zoom back. Yeah, like that's better. Um, we've still got this sideways moving to the top there. You can grab all of it like that, you can see that. So the idea will be that once you get another door, 
it'll be that once it's fully open there will always be a certain amount of it on the bend which is what's required to keep the thing rigid and it doesn't have the same amount of movement in it as what you get once you bring it out off of the curve and onto the straight. So look at that now, I'll look at the top more than anything. You can see how much that still wafts about but what I've done at the moment I've just put these little metal uh, angles in there and I've actually got some little uh, ball bearings or like a roller bearing should I say that it's running on at the moment. But once I get the other door I'm going to uh, literally remove those, uh, swap these two sections out because I'll have a load of spare with a new door uh, and uh, obviously that will sort that out. Plus as well I'll be able to get rid of all this tape that's on here as well because that has to sort of on there just holding it in place at the moment as well. Just keep it rigid. But uh, yeah, that'll be another 205 quid. It's, uh, it'll be worth it I think in the end. The other job I still need to do down here is mount another 240 volt power socket. That will be probably just up and to the left of the, um, the heater outlet uh, down there. Uh, get that done over the next few evenings probably. It's a quite a nice little evening job for this time of the year. Well, the other thing I've done, trim on remember, remember it, is I've now fixed Remis blinds uh, to these side windows. Uh, on that side and also on this side here as well. That's, uh, Quite an easy way, uh, quite an easy kit to fit actually. I will say it's uh, once you got um, done the first one, it literally took me five minutes to do the second one, so uh, that was pretty good. Uh, I've still got the front one to do, and again, that'll be a, uh, a nice little evening job. I suspect it takes about an hour or so just to uh, to fit one of those, so uh, yeah, that's where we are with that one. So uh, yeah, we're getting to the end of the build now. Um, it's just final bits and bobs. Uh, I was finally uh, the three meter section of uh, hose I was waiting for for the Underslung Gasset kit finally arrived about two weeks ago. Uh, finally managed to get that all done and dusted. Um, now waiting for the guy who used to come and service my caravan to come and do a gas check on the whole system because I don't want to go using it without uh, making sure the whole thing is uh, absolutely uh, tight as hell and there's no leaks. Uh, you'll also check my uh, 240 volt system as well to make sure I've wired all that up properly as well. So uh, that's going to be in about two and a half weeks time I think he's going to come to do that. So uh, once I get all ticked off we can then uh, hopefully then start using it. Uh, the other plan is that uh, over the next week or so uh, I'll get the, uh, the bed slats fit in this position, get the mattress in as well. In fact we're going to have to cut the mattress down because it's actually 190 millimeters, sorry 190 centimeters long and I need to cut it down to 184 to get it to fit inside the van itself so that's going to be a bit of a fun in game, it's got in the mattress down but uh, I'm sure it's not something that's impossible to do because I'm sure many other people have done that. Uh, so yeah that's uh, where we are now, um, if you've got any questions please ask, uh, please subscribe and I'll see you again in the next video, thank you very much, cheers. Hi, my name's Ian, and welcome back to my Peugeot Boxer camper van. Camper van, there, get my teeth in.